Hello Mrs. Fastline. Hello Year 5. Welcome to my art studio. Today we're going to look at the artist Paul Clay. Firstly, here are some beautiful images that I downloaded from a museum website that you can just enjoy and get a feeling for his type of work. As you can see, he's got a sense of humor, he loves bright colors, he's experimental, and his shapes like rectangles and triangles are very strong. Do you remember that we studied an artist called Kandinsky when we were all together in the classroom? And Kandinsky, was the abstract artist and he and Paul Clay were good friends. They both taught art in an art school called the Bauhaus in Germany just before the Second World War. Unfortunately, Hitler of Nazi Germany declared both of their art degenerate art and he had some of the artworks burnt, which was really, really sad because now these are treasures for the whole world to enjoy. Thank goodness Paul Clay was very prolific, which meant he produced many, many paintings. So there's still many examples of his work to enjoy in museums around the world. When Paul Clay was teaching sketching at the Bauhaus, he had a wonderful way of describing sketching and he said, it's just a dot that goes for a walk. Why don't you take out the sketchbook that you made the other day or any piece of paper and just have a go drawing a dot and taking your dot for a walk. Maybe you could try this kitty cat. I love the way that he's incorporated a bird on the cat's forehead. It's almost as if the cat is thinking about the bird. All the other shapes are very simple, so I'm sure we'll all be able to draw beautiful cats. 